So in this demonstration I'm going to show you a little bit about working with the filters for list of values. So we have here a field that stores its value in a page variable called price. And we're going to hook up this search button to do a search on the table below it. Okay. So first we'll do the very simple search, search by one field. We're taking an assigned variable and we're going to the service data provider that is populating the table. There's a filter criterion and a criteria over there and we can simply associate values with the fields in there. So the value is going to come from our variable in the page, the price variable. The operator is going to be $LT, which stands for little then. Okay? And then the attribute is the ID of the field. Okay? So now if we actually switch to live mode and we put in a value over here in the price field and click the search, we'll filtering the table based on any flights that are with a lower cost of what we specify in this field. Okay? By the way, this field has a maximum value, so if you set a value that is too high, you're going to get this presentation. But this is basically giving you all the flights in the table again. So this is the basic filter based on one criteria. What happens if you have more than one criteria? So for that, what you would want to do is go and create um, variables that can hold those criteriums. Okay. So again, if you look into the filter criteria, you'll see the structure of a criteria has three attributes, attribute, OP, and value. Okay. So we're going to um, remove this um, assigned variable. And we're going to replace it with another one. But first, let's go back to our page and we're going to create some variables. Um, first, we'll actually create a type for those variables. We're going to create a custom type. We'll give it a name. In my case, it's criteria type. It's an object type. And then inside this object, I'm going to add uh, several fields. Okay, um, All of them are string. One of them is going to be the attribute field. The next one would be the OP field for the operator and the last one would be the value. Okay, so now we have a type that looks like a criteria, and now we can create variables for each one of the criteria that we would want to work with. So in our case, we're going to create a cost condition, for example, based on this data type, and we can create another one which uh, we'll call it um, the two condition, okay, again, based on the same data type, and now we have like two places where we can specify conditions. Okay. Now you can actually set values for each one of those fields, like default values. For example, we know that the cost would always um, match the attribute for cost. So we're just going to have, have a default value here called cost. The operator that we're going to use is always a dollar $LT in our example. Um, the value is something that we'll set in the page. Uh, so now let's go to the two condition. Again, we'll set the attributes to always compare to the two one field, and the operator in this case would be equal. All right. So now we have two more values that need to come from uh, UI components on the screen. So to do that, we're going to go back to our page designer, and we'll hook up this field back in design mode, this field is going to get the data for it, it's going to come or basically populate this two condition and it would be the value that we set in there. Similarly, the price field over here is going to map now to the cost condition and to the value field over there. Alright, so now we have our two conditions set. Next, let's modify our button. Okay, and again, we're going to use the same assign variable operator. And what we're going to show you here is that if you again expand to look at our filter criterion, this is an array, and what we're going to do is we're going to drag each one of the criteria into this array. So this would make it so the array actually contains both criteria. Okay. You can see it actually in the expression evaluator over there. And then you can specify the operator to do between those two conditions. In our case, this would be a dollar end. Okay. So this would be the full structure. 
Um, in the version I'm working on, there's one small bug um, that you might want to change. So again, if you go into the JSON file over here, where you can see the whole criteria that you defined, there's a reset aspect here for the filter criterion. We need it to be empty. This way, each time that we run our assigned variable, the filter criteria is going to be empty when we start. Otherwise, it's just going to concatenate the conditions. Okay, so now we're in live mode and we're doing a location US and price uh, 1600 and we can see all the flights um, with that price and similarly if we switch the location to GR it's all the flight for GR with that price and if we reduce the price okay those two conditions would be with an end before between them so no flights in this price range and one flight with this price range so this now works with the end operator. Again, if you go in, uh, you can switch the end to be an OR operator. Let's go back into our UI and now put in um, two values, again like US for example and 800 and this should give us flights to US okay, and flights that are costing less than 800. 